So let's bring in a, an expert, Donald Trump's former lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, one of the smartest legal brains I've probably ever encountered. Alan, make some sense of all this. We're sitting here across the pond in the United Kingdom, and it seems to us utterly insane that somebody can now be indicted uh, on one case involving hush payments to a porn star, now indicted federally uh, on what appear to be far more serious charges under the Espionage Act involving classified documents. He's, he's heard on tape boasting are not un, uh, declassified. Put some, some, some meat on this rumour mill bone about all this. Where, where is Donald Trump now? Where well, is he legal? The, the first case is a joke, the New York case. Uh, they made up uh, facts. They made up law. He won't be convicted, and he shouldn't be convicted. The second case, the federal case, much more serious. They have his own words and the words of his lawyers making incriminating statements. It is certainly possible he could be convicted. The Constitution does not, as you say, preclude him from running uh, as a uh, an indicted or even convicted or even imprisoned person. I doubt he'll be imprisoned, but it's certainly possible. We have a strange situation here. We have a situation where Trump was targeted, perhaps even illegally. They went after him in order to try to focus on him and him alone, mm. but they succeeded as the result of unlawful actions of targeting him with his own cooperation. They came up with evidence on tape that may very well be enough to convict him. Now, is it OK to convict somebody if you've improperly targeted him, but the targeting resulted in evidence of real crime? For example, if this were in the South, if this were a racist prosecutor in the 1930s who said, I'm only going to investigate crimes committed by black people, not white people, and he investigated and found the crime committed by a black person, would we say it's OK to prosecute him? Maybe. Now, this is different. This isn't race. This is politics, and politics is different. But there are troubling aspects of this case. They've used the words of his own lawyer against him. The judges ruled that he violated the lawyer-client privilege. It's a complicated case. If I was still teaching at Harvard, as I was for 50 years, I'd be using this as a case okay. study on Alan, the problems Alan, of the legal system. Alan, hold, hold yeah. with us. We're going to take a short commercial break. Penn, I can see you chomping at the bit. <laughs> you will be allowed to come off that bit. OK. And give me your view after okay. the break. Alan Dershowitz is still with us. So, Penn, you were chomping at the bit that are get in on what Alan was saying. Why? I did not teach at Harvard. I am not a lawyer, but I am a liar. And I am a magician. I mean, that's what we do. And... It sounded to me, and what didn't I understand here, uh, uh, Mr. Dershowitz, um, it sure seemed like you were saying, yeah, he was doing stuff wrong, but they were trying to catch him. As soon as you become president, as soon as you become any sort of public figure, everybody's trying to bust you all the time. I mean, that's actually... OK, let's bring Alan back in. That's a very good point. Donald Trump is not I a agree. regular... Not a regular person. Mm. He's, a, he's a very controversial president who's already been indicted... Uh, by New York State on another issue. He's facing other huge legal issues involving January the 6th, the riots at the Capitol, involving the phone call uh, to Georgia and so on. So this is a guy already smothered in legal jeopardy. Why shouldn't they be going hard after him? Well, that's exactly why I wrote my book uh, called <laughs> Get Trump. Shameless plug. Oh, that is the most shameless <laughs> book plug I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, uh, where's the pen I can be a magician, too. I can pull rabbits out of a hat. Uh, I wrote a whole book on why there has been a campaign to get Donald Trump. Look, I'm not a Trump supporter. I voted against him twice. I have a constitutional right to vote against him a third time, and I intend to. But I don't want a bunch of prosecutors to prevent Americans from voting for him or against him. Well, they he won't. shouldn't be compared to he shouldn't be compared to every ordinary person, but he should be compared to Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, Vice President Pence, Sandy Berger, others who have allegedly committed comparable crimes. And if what we're seeing is an attempt to target him uniquely by the Democratic administration because he is the chief Republican who's going to be running against the incumbent Democrat, it better be a very strong case. But he's not As being stopped from Richard running. Nixon. Maybe I mean, I gotta say, I gotta case. say, I saw 
Uh, Maggie Haberman from the New York Times said this was the most compelling indictment she thinks mm. she's ever read. But um, she also said that. She also said similar things about the New York case. And yeah, she but William, said it well, William, about, Barr, William Barr, his former attorney general, he said look, the same I, thing. I, I think this is a strong case. The question, yeah. is it a strong enough case? I had a piece in the Wall Street Journal today. Is it a strong enough case to warrant going after a man who's running for president? Remember, we're going to have to but have a is. trial. The trial will be a year from now, right in the beginning of the conventions. Uh, will he be tried during the election, after the election? It has to meet a very high standard. I call it the Nixon standard. The Nixon standard is he destroyed evidence. He bribed witnesses. The evidence was so clear that the people who wanted him out of office were his fellow Republicans. We haven't seen that. Because okay, there's been this all right, Alan. History uh, listen, Alan. As always, we bow. We all bow to your expert legal brain because it's one of Never the bow. It's Never one bow. of the great, oh, no. one of the great legal brains in the world. So we appreciate it. Um, what a slightly changed gear to. Uh, we'll, we'll say goodbye to Alan. Thank you very much.